Peach is here, and this is my 1965 Mustang convertible. Let's take her for a drive. Fires right up, purrs like a kitten. This has been a super fun car to drive around town this summer. Drives really good, very reliable. Drive straight down the road. Has a V6 200. Straight six. Straight six. Uh, Dad's here helping me uh, take one of my first videos on my own. I have, this is my car and she's awesome. Uh, super fun <laughs> this summer in the convertible. Uh, the speedometer works, which is awesome, so it's a fuel gauge. I believe if you wiggle, the horn even works. We're going to pull it up here and stop in a shady spot. Dad's gonna pop the hood. Runs really well. Beautiful, original engine. So I got this one from a friend, um, and it is in really good driver condition. We put the stripes on the side, makes it just look really cool. It's got nice uh, newer tires, brand new tread. The Mustang wheels on there. Uh, the paint is in pretty good condition. It does have a few chips here and there. There's a couple of rust places. Pretty minor, but there's some uh, rust on the side of the door here. Here, before we go, keep on going. Let me clutch shut the head, but first, show the inner fender wells are in great shape. Firewall. <clears throat> no, no rust under the hood. There's a few little typical uh, Mustang rusty spots on this car. It's not, it's definitely no rusty bucket or, or whatsoever. It's a nice, this is a nice tr driver quality vehicle. This is what we like to call a 20 footer. And the paint, I would say the paint is in fair to good driver quality condition. From 20 feet away, the car looks awesome. When we get right up on it, we're gonna, uh, Peaches is gonna nitpick it here for you. I'm gonna go around and show the little spots. Mm -hmm. So you saw the bubbles on the side over there and there's a few some cracking here. And here, a little fading. Fading. Little spots. Body lines are very straight for a Mustang. Uh, I would say original style body lines. The door, door lines never lined up, even from the factory. But uh, this is a very straight car. And uh, if you wanted to repaint it, which if I was keeping this car, I wouldn't repaint it. I would drive it just like it is. The only thing I would do to this car, if it was mine, is I'd replace the radio because the little knobs are... It's just an older, one of those repop style radios. And uh, I'd put a stereo in it and I'd drive it. There's nothing else to do to this car. It runs awesome. It's super, super reliable and easy to drive. So... Interior is really nice. It's got the pony, red and white. Has a few little things here and there. Got a little tear right here on the driver's seat. Um, besides that, it's in really good condition. The dash looks nice. Yeah, whoever cut the carpet when they installed it, unfortunately botched it just a touch. I thought about maybe just, you know, putting a little 
plate underneath it. But actually, the and the carpet looks awesome. The new carpet kits for these run only about $120. So mm -hmm. worst case scenario, you could just actually throw a brand new carpet kit in it. <clears throat> but again, it's a driver and it looks awesome, for, especially for the price. Right now, these Mustangs are just getting outrageous and it's hard to find one. I'm having a hard time finding something that I think is a nice driver for under $30,000. So this falls in that category of a nice looking driver. Here's inside the trunk. It's got the original style, a little padding in here, the spare. Looks pretty clean underneath. Yep, nice solid trunk pan. No trunk rust that I've seen, which is really nice. This side is glued down. Oh yeah, they glued that pan. It's just not that uncommon. Nice. You can look at it from underneath though. Nice that it has a spare. It's got that old original style jack too. Just really cool. Mm -hmm. And also your hood, I mean your uh, trunk lid is in great shape. A couple of little paint cracks right here. Like we said, in pretty good condition. A little bit of rust here and there, but nothing super uncommon. I did, I got the bubbles over there. Show underneath here. Now, I would say I would call this a very minimal rust car, but I couldn't call it a rust free car. There's a couple of spots. We have a little bit right up in here, a little surface. And there's the rockers look solid. The inner fender wells are all nice and solid. Floor pans look really good. Just those couple of little rust spots. Which actually could be repaired quite easily. Uh, super, super simple spot there that Peaches just showed. 